I will not be purchasing any V-Bucks because the item shop is terrible. Whoa! Oh, we need to add another page to the item shop ASAP. After getting up, I chose to start my day by not checking Twitter and then going downstairs. I didn't have breakfast today. Instead, I chose to savour some of the positive comments made about Fortnite. Oh wow, look at this. Airwave Music TV said five years ago, this is perfect. We're doing a good job, guys. Today's Fortnite update day, and because our workforce is so diligent, we're planning the update a whole working day in advance. Oh, oh, no, never mind. I was quite short on ideas today, team, so I actually looked at the Valorant and Call of Duty website just in case I could magpie anything from their game. We have a meeting with our team where we're going to show all sorts of original ideas that we've all come up with, and then we're going to go and update the game. Big ammo box. How about big ammo boxes nerfed by 5%? Tony, how do you come up with such good ideas? I don't know, it just comes to me. With the update coming out later, the pressure was piled on to get this update out in time. Hey Fortnite fam, we've got an amazing update for you today, you're gonna love it. After careful consideration, we've decided to nerf Mega Ammo Boxes by 5%. We're also gonna make some massive changes to the most popular game mode at the moment, Team Rumble. This week, you can expect to see the long-awaited release of the rolled out Tesco collab skins. And finally, as a massive update and change to the game, we are adding shield bubbles back into non-competitive zero build. That's all for today, Fortnite fam. You're gonna love it. I could tell this update was a blast with our viewers straight from the get-go. After all that brain power was extended, instead of checking Twitter for updates and feedback, I decided to book a team holiday to Greece to celebrate. Don't worry guys, you're all deserving of a holiday. I'm not leaving a single one back at the HQ this year. If anything goes wrong, it will just go wrong. There's nothing we can do. Today the servers went down, and I had a very difficult decision to make as one of the Epic developers. Should we tweet out about the servers being down? I don't think we should, because as far as Epic Games are concerned, no news is good news. So if we don't put it on Twitter, that means the servers will probably be up by next week. After this mishap, I decided to crack down on some of the stream snipers. Us at Epic Games have an iron fist when it comes to banning and the offending parties in stream sniping. We give them a strongly worded pop-up that asks them to reconsider their life choices. And then, we let them off with a warning. We know after this harsh message, our players will probably never stream snipe again, making the community a much healthier place. Ah, uh, you same stream sniper. And I usually felt very productive today, so I'm going to look at the cheating allegations for the cash up four weeks ago. I don't know, Gary, I don't, I, I'm not sure about this one. This one could be playing normally. This one might not be hacking. I, I, I'll say it once, I'll say it again. This one might not be hacking. Call me optimistic, but I can't see the cheating allegations on this one. From what you've done here, Gary, the item shop looks a little bit bare. I have to say, having 20 pages of Marvel-related skins just isn't enough these days. I had a dream about this last night. The person in my dream did not want a Marvel skin. Add a miscellaneous section in there. Oh, and, and add a page of gun wraps for 500 each. People love them. People love them stuff. And that was my day as a Fortnite developer. I'd like to thank you on behalf of everyone here at Epic Games for your money, support and dedication to our game Fortnite. There was no cut there. Thank you for watching. Use code JKC in the Fortnite item shop. I heard from Epic, it's the best code. And watch this video right here. Apparently, it's a banger.